Hi, my name is Holger, and today I'll um, introduce you to some of the useful geospatial libraries for data analysis in Python. And we'll go through a very basic exercise uh, of uh, taking uh, the Emayagi River catchment confined to the boundaries of uh, Tartu County, and we'll extract some basic precipitation stats uh, for that catchment. So, in my notebook, what I'll start with is uh, the GeoPandas library, and I'm reading in uh, the catchment dataset. And the GeoPandas library is a very common library for tabular-based uh, vector data, for example, shapefile processing. And we can see that our data in our notebook is uh, shown in a very convenient tabular format. And we can see that as a geometry, we'll deal with uh, polygons. We'll check the coordinate reference system of the catchments and see it's the official Estonian coordinate reference system. And if we plot the boundaries of our catchment, we can see that we are dealing with pretty much the bigger river catchments of uh, eastern Estonia. What I'm doing next is I'm only subsetting the MIOG river catchment from this uh, full data set. And what I need for clipping is the Estonian counties. So I'm reading in the counties. Also, we'll be dealing with a multi-polygon uh, geometry here. And just to make sure that the CRS of the counties matches with the catchments, and it does. You can also plot the counties. Similar to the catchment before, I'm subsetting only the boundaries of Tartu County for the clipping. And for the clipping itself, I'm using the very self-explanatory clip function as an input, I'll have the MIOG river catchment and as a mask, the borders of uh, Tartu County. And we can see that the output has been clipped to the borders. And finally, I'll create a new shapefile uh, based on this new polygon. Next, we'll be rasterizing precipitation data. Um, first of all, I'm using the pandas library, which is a Python library for uh, tabular data processing. I have a CSV file with uh, longitude-latitude-based uh, total precipitation uh, measurements for uh, our study period for the five years. And what I need to do is convert this regular data frame into a geo data frame using GeoPandas. And the basis of the points is the longitude and latitude coordinates. And we can see that our output now has a geometry column. Next, I'm using the GeoCube library and specifically the function make GeoCube. So with that, I'm uh, giving the input of the geo data frame with the points we have here above. And I'm telling it to, based on the measurements of precipitation, create an output uh, raster grid and the resolution will be 0.1 degrees. And this is because I know that the source data set where this precipitation came from is the ERA5 uh, land product. And that has a very coarse resolution of 0.1 degrees. So I'm creating the grid. And we can see that in addition to coordinates, we have the data variables and these are our precipitation values. And I output this into a new GeoTIFF. Next, I want to reproject uh, a raster, which was in uh, WGS84, into the Estonian reference system. I'm importing the raster IO library for that, which is uh, a very useful library for any kind of raster modification, for example, reprojection. So I'm reading in the data, uh, checking the CRS, which is WGS84. We can also plot the data with a basic show function and also check out the histogram of the precipitation values. 
I'm importing some helper functions from Restorio for our uh, reprojection. We want our destination CRS to be the Estonian one. And here I'm uh, opening uh, a data set which we previously created, reading in the metadata, uh, calculating the transformation function, and outputting the results in a brand new data set, which will be in the Estonian reference system. And if we now open the new file, we can see that we have the requested CRS. And the final stage is SONA statistics uh, calculation. I'm again reading in our clip catchment. Then from the raster stats library, the SONA stats function, I'm using the catchment as a mask while telling uh, the input raster uh, data set to be uh, the reprojected data set we just created. And for the stats, I'm taking min, max, mean, standard deviation, and range. And I can see that the output is a dictionary, which I can convert into a data frame. And here we have some basic precipitation stats. And finally, this notebook is also available in our Landscape Geoinformatics Workgroup uh, GitHub page. So you can check it out here as well. On, also download it on your own uh, machine if needed and run it. And that's it from my side. Thank you for the attention.